Hello everyone. Day eight of 90 days for our 90 day challenge. Welcome to today, day eight. Uh, this morning I paused on my run and talked a little bit about uh, change and preparing for change as we go into this new year. Well, this new year is is practically here. I mean, if you're waiting to you know, roll into January 1st before you start making these changes, that's completely up to you. Um, finish up the, the Christmas pies and the Christmas cookies and, and then, you know, hit the gym. Uh, take a couple of days off of, of work or starting your business or growing your business and, you know, connect with, with your friends and your family. Do whatever you need to do. Don't fall into this pressure or these unwritten rules. Um, but if you're eager to get started meeting your goals and facing this big change that hopefully will be coming for us all, whatever that looks like for you in the year 2022, not 2002, like my brain seems to think is going to happen, but 2022, then go ahead and get started. Um, I would start with preparation. So what do you need to do to prepare for meeting your goals? Are you a vision board kind of person? Do you need to cut out pictures of what you want from magazines um, or a digital vision board, linking websites and, and photos you find? Um, what motivates you? Do you need that visual connection? Uh, I'm a post-it note and planner kind of girl. So oddly enough, I have four calendars on my phone and three planners on my desk. I know it sounds really disorganized, doesn't it? But I have a planner for, for me, for my daily tasks. Here's what I have to get done today. Here's what's happening today. Here's what's going on in my kids' lives today so I don't forget to take them to places or pick them up. Um, I don't use my digital calendar as much as I used to, which is funny because we live in a digital world. It is 2022, after all, not 2002. <laughs> um, so oddly enough, I don't use my, my phone calendars as much as I used to because most of what matters to my days uh, happens at my desk. And I try to stay off of my phone. So I put appointments and tasks and reminders and whatnot in there. Um, <laughs> sorry, I have, I have ADD and ADHD and whatever, um, whatever else you can toss out there. And I was just laughing at a few weeks ago. I, I don't even remember what the task was for, but I, um, put a task in my phone using my watch to remind myself to do something the next day. Oh, I think I was checking in for airline tickets. Like you have to do the 24 hour check in on Southwest so you can get a decent place in line to find a decent seat. And I think I did it for the wrong day. And so then I asked Siri to open up my reminders. <laughs> and my girlfriend laughed because it said, Siri said, you have 37 reminders. <laughs> she just looked at me. She was just like, oh Lord, <laughs> what? What 37 things do you need to remember? And, you know, I went back through them and deleted, deleted like 18 of them or something. I was like, oh, yeah, this was just to remind myself to go grocery shopping. And this was to remind myself to get this at the grocery store. And there were five reminders to, you know, whatever. But they were all basically the same thing. So I, I don't use technology the way I should. So, you know what, let's start there. What tips and tricks do you have that work to keep you organized as you prepare to go into this new year. So I'm talking about my, my desk planners. They're just notebook calendars, daily, weekly, monthly calendars. They're not daily, they're weekly and monthly. Um, although I've thought about getting a daily calendar too because it's more space and with more space on each day, like if I had a page per day, I couldn't imagine having a 365 page book on my desk that I could keep track of daily stuff and can you just see my wheels turning like ooh, wait a minute I should create that because I need that um anyway so I have my my desk calendar for just my daily stuff and then I have my 
Uh, I have a calendar for my clients to, to keep up with their social media and holidays and things that are important and messages for each month. And, um, and then I have for my brands and I have a couple of different brands, uh, publishing and, and living inside the vulnerable and Stella Samuel. And so for, I have a calendar just for my brands to keep my, uh, you know, my social media calendar to, to keep topics for 90 days. So I have our 90 days planned out, um, topics that we'll be discussing on this page after the new year, um, teaching topics, discussion topics, podcast topics, things that are happening, um, kind of behind the scenes as, as we build this up to, to roll out next year, Monday, <laughs> which is next year. Um, wow, that is big. So I will only be as successful as my preparation is. So, whoo, that's a lot to prepare. So two things, here's your challenge, because I just threw that out there too. Share, share your tips and, and tricks. What do you do to stay organized? What do you do to, now, and I don't mean stay organized as in, you know, do you keep a calendar and do, I have 5,000 post-its on my desk with random phrases and sometimes I have to go back and go, what did that mean? Oh, that's the name of a song, Never mind. Um, but not, not just to stay organized, but to keep your preparation to meeting your goals organized. So how do you prepare? What kinds of tools do you use to prepare yourself? So whether it's relationship goals, do you plan out a weekly date? Or do you just say, you know, we're gonna go out this week? Um, or you fly by the pants? Or do you set aside every Tuesday night or every Friday night for you and, and your partner to date? And then do you plan those dates? Or do you guys alternate? Or do you just look at each other and go, okay, it's Friday night. Let's go out. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What I hadn't thought about it. What do you want to do? See a movie? I don't know. Um, how do you prepare for the success of, of your weekly, monthly, whatever dates? Do you plan weekends away? Do you plan holidays? Uh, do you to take turns planning things? Do you rope your partner in or do you focus on surprises? Um, how about in business? Do you plan your social media content for the, for the entire quarter? How about for the whole year? That's a lofty goal. That's one of my goals. Um, I'm waiting on logos right now, um, which is a little troublesome, but, um, but okay, because I love my designer. So I'll just pop them in when, when I'm ready. But, uh, yeah, I was really hoping to have those done before the first so I can roll out starting on the first. Um, how about in your business, do you plan out your business goals? Do you plan out financial goals? Do you plan out, you know, number of clients or customers or number of products or, you know, how do you keep track of all that stuff? Or do you just, you know, show up every day and see what happens? You know, fitness goals, same thing. Do you have a goal? I want to lose weight. I want to be in, you know, this size pants by this date and here's what I'm going to do to meet it. Or I want to build and bulk up and here's what I'm going to do to meet it. So, you know, what are your tools? What are your tips and tricks? So share that below. And then along with that, my challenge coming to this video today was to share what you do to prepare in different aspects of your life. You can share them all, you can pick one. How are you caring for your mental health? What are you doing for self-care? How are you preparing for whatever challenges you know you're gonna face in the next month or two? Keep living inside their vulnerable, stay in your safe spaces, and don't be afraid to share exactly where you are because I think that's the best kind of love we can give those we love, is telling them exactly where we are without expectations of them fixing us, but rather just loving us right in that space. Take care, guys. Make it a great day. I'll see you tomorrow for day nine, where we talk about connection, I believe is what I have on my calendar. Human connection. Take care.